Hi, I'm Ian, and I'm going to show you how to patch a hole in drywall. Now, for very small holes, you can just use a dab of spackling paste, or even toothpaste for that matter. But for holes of this size, we require a little bit more work. For this job, what you're going to need is some sandpaper, some spackling paste, some self-adhesive mesh tape, and some putty knives. At first, you want to rough up the paint around the hole just a little bit. And that'll also help to take off any little bit of paper that's still sticking up. Then, you get yourself a piece of mesh tape that's about the right size, and place that right over the hole. Now that's going to act as a bridge to keep the spackle in place. Then, simply take your spackle and press it in all around the edges of the tape. And once you have it completely covered, go ahead and take a bigger knife and just roll it over. Once we have it completely covered, we just let it dry, come back, sand it, and it's ready to paint. All right, and now that that's dry, it's ready to be sanded. We're just going to get it nice and smooth, and there you go. It's ready to be primed and painted, and that's how you patch a small hole in drywall. Now we're going to tackle a larger hole. For this project, you'll need a metal straight edge, a utility knife and a pencil, some drywall nails, a stud finder, drywall saw, some drywall sandpaper, a hammer, some regular sandpaper, a putty knife, a drywall trowel, joint tape, joint compound, and of course, some drywall. First thing you want to do is locate your studs. With that, just use a simple stud finder. That'll allow you to know where you can cut your drywall. Now I can mark my line straight across to know where I'm going to cut. You want to give yourself a couple inches on either side of the hole. All right. Now I'm going to take my drywall saw, I'm going to cut along the line and hit each stud. There we go. Now that I know the location of the studs, I can go ahead, measure off, and find the center of them. That's where we want to cut it to make sure we have something to put our new drywall on. So once you cut out the hole with your knife, pull the piece out, and this will be the guide to make our patch. So now I'm going to lay the piece of drywall I just pulled off the wall onto my spare and mark it. That way the new piece will be the exact size of the one I just took out. Then we just put our straight edge about a quarter of an inch inside that line so we have a little bit of room, and go ahead and cut it. Now a drywall, you don't need to cut all the way through. You just need to score it, and then it'll break just like that. Same thing on the other end. Make a cut, cut away your paper, and you're good. Now we're ready to patch it. So now what we do is set the actual piece we just cut right back in the hole. There we go. Perfect fit. Take a couple drywall nails and we want to set it in. Now you want to make sure when you put the drywall nails in that the head sit just below the surface. That'll allow us to spackle right over them and give yourself a clean patch. For patch this side, four nails will be plenty. All right, now we want to spread our joint compound right along the seam. We just want to get a little bit all along this cut edge. That'll give us a nice base to put our tape on when it's time. Not too much, you don't want to put it on too thick. We just want to get enough on there to hold the tape in place and to cover the seam a bit. That should be good right there. You can still see the seam through it, but it's completely covered. Now, we take our joint tape, cut it about an inch or so longer than the actual seam, and apply it. Put it on and gently press it on, just like that. Do the same at the top, same on this side. Once you have all your joint tape applied, we do one more coat over the whole thing. Once you get all of the tape covered, 